Yo guys, what's up? Sleepio here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the best talent on each gear piece. So mask, chest, holster, backpack, gloves, and knee pads. For some pieces, there are multiple really good talents, but they are build dependent. But before I tell you what's the best, I want to explain the difference between active and passive talents real quick. Every brand set item can have an active talent, or a passive talent, or even both. Some pieces have less active talents and some pieces have less passive talents though. So an active talent is not always active, so you have to do something actively to make it work. A passive talent on the other hand is always active. It's a passive buff to your damage, healing or whatever, but it will always be active. You can see the difference between an active talent and a passive talent if you look at the symbol. An active talent will have a circle with an arrow in the middle, while a passive talent will just have the circle without anything in it. One last thing, you can't recalibrate an active talent to a passive talent and also not the other way around. Now to the best in slot talent. Let's start with the mask. The mask only has two active talents I know of and one of them is pretty useless which makes the other one the best already. The talent I'm talking about is dialed in and it used to be pretty OP. But they nerfed it and now it's not as good anymore but it's still really good in my eyes. It increases your gun stability by 25% of your accuracy. It only works if you aim down sides though. The best passive talent on the mask has to be hard hitting that gives you 15% damage to elites. Even for PvP, at least in the dark zone, that isn't too bad since you will run into a few elite NPCs in the dark zone as well. If you are just playing skirmish, I would go for capacitive which increases skill duration. You can only have one talent on the mask, so either active or passive. The next item on the list is a chest. The only chest that can have an active and a passive talent is the Fenris Group AB. And to be honest, I don't know why. All the other chests can have either active or passive talent. So the best active talent on the chest has to be Berserk for any Assault Rifle or SMG build. In PvE it gives you 10% extra damage for 10% of your missing armor. And in PvP it's 5% extra damage for 10% missing armor. So up to 100% extra damage in PvE and 50% extra damage in PvP. Another really good active talent is Unbreakable, aka the Nomad of Division 2. It gives you 25% armor back when your armor is fully depleted and after that happens you can use armor kits for free for 5 seconds. In PvP it's only 15% and what the talent doesn't tell you is that it has a cooldown of around 1 minute. The best passive talent on the chest is Hardened, which gives you 10% more armor. Hardened is one of the best passive talents in the game, so it has to be on that list. Next we have the Holster. The Holster has 3 active talents, but they are all really build dependent or just not better than the passive talents. You can have either active or passive talent on the Holster, not both. As best in slot for the active talent, I will pick Filler Up, since the two others are just too build dependent. Reloading from empty reloads all weapons. Isn't the best, but it can be useful. But the passive talents on the holster are way better than that. We have devastating, surgical and hard hitting. For PvE you have to go for hard hitting again. For PvP you can decide between 8% crit chance or 5% weapon damage. For me the weapon damage is almost always better but in certain builds the crit chance is essential so you can go for that as well. On the backpack you can have an active talent and a passive talent or even two passive talents as far as I know. The best active talents in my opinion are Safeguard and Efficient. Safeguard grants 150% bonus to all healing and repairing effects, so armor kits, chem launcher heals and the healing drone for 20 seconds after killing a target. This can be really good with a build my friend Wits made, link is in the description. It's a bit harder to achieve since you need to have 5 or less offensive attributes. The other talent is Efficient and it's not that great. I would rather go for a passive talent most of the times, but since you can have an active and a passive talent on the backpack, you can have both of them. It has a 50% chance to not consume a medkit when you use it, but at least in PvP you don't really use medkits that often, so it's not that good in PvP. The best passive talents are Hardened for PvP and Hard Hitting for PvE. On the gloves we have a lot of good active and passive talents, so it's harder to pick which one is the best. The gloves have the same passive talents as the holsters, so let's start with those. We have devastating, surgical and hard hitting again. As I said earlier, it all depends on your build and what you wanna do. For PvE it's hard hitting and for PvP it's devastating or surgical. 
The best active talents are Clutch and Two Order. Clutch works really good with the Safeguard Backpack. For critical hits, it restores 15% of your health and 2% of your armor, and it's the same in PvP. You have to use an Assault Rifle, SMG or LMG though. The other talent, Two Order, makes you cook grenades now. So hold the fire button to make them explode faster or even instant when they arrive. Can be really annoying in PvP, but I wouldn't give up devastating for that. The last item on the list are the knee pads, and we don't have many good talents here. Like the most pieces, you can only have one talent on the knee pads. The best active talent is probably Entrench, which repairs your armor by 5% for each headshot you hit from cover. That sounds really good, but it only works with rifles and snipers, and it has a short internal cooldown. It can be useful for PvE, but for PvE we also have the passive talent Hard Hitting again. Hard Hitting is maybe the best talent on the knee pads overall, because the other passive talents aren't too great either. The only other talent I could imagine to be somewhat useful for PvP is Insulated, which gives you 10% all resistance to status effects. And that's it. My best in slot guide for gear. I hope I could help some of you with that video. If you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video.